Hey everyone, it's Kim's Tectonic here. I uh, ordered some parts through the called Parts Warehouse. I believe they carry vacuum, they carry washer. Um, it's been my go to spot here lately. Today we're going to be working on this uh, heavy duty large capacity. Whirlpool washer. Uh, what they sent me was I didn't know that they that the kit. If you get this kit here, which is a W one one two five five eight one eight, is pretty much all you need. And this is a problem with the agitator don't agitate so your clothes don't get very clean because there's no agitation I mean the washer does all the whole cycle but it never agitates so your clothes don't get clean so today we're gonna start by changing these parts so in what package I just told you about come all these this I call it a gizmo here I think it's your cam and these things here come out I put them all in pretty sure that's the way they go they don't come in there Let's set that off to the side you get this part this part I believe holds your cam pegs in and this is the new seal to get to your bolt to take this thing apart and I believe this goes on your bolt itself. First off, this cap pops right off. I don't know if you can see in here good enough or not, but this cap pops off. We're going to need that. And then you've got this thing here. It might take a little finagling to get it out because this old one was on here and it broke so fortunately they sent me a new one of those and then you got to take your bolt out there's one dead center bolt you'll see down there when you just get that bolt out take that bolt out this whole thing should lift out of there like so yeah and here's the here is the issue these things you can see are broke well and they're, they're wore out and there's three of them and who knows where the other one is and here's what your bolt looks like okay so they sent this new part which is this and then you also have this ring here that just sets on there they sent one of those so we'll pop that new thing back on that just sets down in there this is probably the tricky part pretty sure you pretty sure you gotta put this on there to hold these in and it'll only line up to where it'll go down you got these little tabs so you just push it down and that should hold all these in make sure you get these in the right direction I wasn't sure at first but it mainly makes sense that they grab when it goes this way they release and when it goes this way they grab to turn your agitator as you can see there's gears gears down in there I don't know how well you can see it but see the gears 
they're on the side wall down in there. I don't know. It's hard to see them in this camera picture, probably. But all right. So I put this. Make sure that's on there good. We're gonna probably need this out for starters. This is the tricky part. This goes down on here and it should snap. Snap in place. Push it down and it snaps. That should keep these from falling out of place. Then you have to stick it in this way upward until it falls through the hole I usually reach reach in to grab it and then you can see how it's up in there this camera don't do good or the lighting I suppose and then you can see how it's in there okay, once that's in place Get that in place. Well, that should stay there. And then you just want to place this back down and then you have to get this lined up for this to seat back down in there all the way. So just keep spinning it until it drops down in there like you want it to. So you'll, you'll be able to tell when it goes down. That's why you almost have to have that which takes a little finagling. See how it catches. Okay. Alright, that's in place. Yeah, what I did was ended up buying all these parts separate because I didn't know that the one kit had everything in it. And they sent me all these separate pieces so could have saved a little bit of money because the part that I needed was like $16 and something with the shipping is seven I think so I could have saved myself a few dollars because them other parts were six something a piece so now what we're doing is working on getting this back together. This bolt might be the hard part, getting it lined up. So what I got for that, this, and that's not going to stay in there to get down in there. That's what I need. So the old, the old trick, I don't know if I have something. Here's the old paper, the old paper trick. I used to just take a piece of paper, stick it over here, put this in that hole, shove it in your socket, and now it'll hold it, hold it to get it down in there. I think it came with a little seal tight on the end of that nut, which I didn't replace. I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Yeah. 
<sighs> Getting that piece of paper out of there might be a, a little trick. Hey, fish that paper out of there. That's good. Now, see, it catches now. Before, it would just freewheel. So now we need to put this O ring on here. This is kind of what keeps the water from getting down in here, I believe, or to keep that part sealed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, put this on here, like so, and to get a good seal down in there so that this rubber don't pinch, just use a little Dawn dish soap is what I want to use. I was thinking oil would work, but then it's like, well, you don't want oil washing in your clothes, so I thought soap would work good. Then you got to get that shoved down in there for the seal. Which is just that simple. Push this down in there. And that should make a seal. Get it lined up. Make sure it's pressed down in there. Good. Work it all around. Oh yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. And then you put this cap on there. It just sits on there. And there you go. That should fix it. So, if you have to work on a, have to work on one of these Whirlpool washers and Maytags all pretty much the same. Go to the parts warehouse and they'll have a breakdown of everything you need. Order the parts you want. Like I said, if you order that one with the number I gave you, everything comes in it. So you ain't got to buy all that other stuff separate, which was kind of a waste. But I'll sell it on eBay, hopefully. And somebody else had the same dilemma. And that's it for today, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Maybe you can fix your washer. Like and subscribe. This is Kim's Tectonic. I'll be probably coming up with some more stuff. We'll be fixing in the future. So, have a great day, everybody. And thanks for watching.